action. Um, me and Chelsea, uh, we both uh, were campaigning the last month um, for the NDP, Christopher McMillan. And uh, so basically, um, we have a few questions that we want to start off with, and then we're going to uh, interview ourselves. Okay, it's going to be pretty cool. So my first question is, um, if I could get a show of hands, how many people were uh, paying attention to the election? Hmm. Jesus. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Yeah, 51% voted. Um, how many people voted? I asked my ballot. That's my vote. I don't like the system, but I made it up. Okay. Um, now, how many people um, volunteered for a party's campaign? <laughs> and last but not least, are there anybody? Is anybody in the audience who actually ran in the election? Yeah, I actually ran. <laughs> uh, don't blame for us. I didn't win. I didn't win the world presidency. <laughs> <laughs> no so, um, so with those questions being asked, um, I will hand the mic over to um, Miss Daisy. Welcome to our Miss da Driving Miss Daisy uh, after show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, for those of you that know or don't know, I have a pretty large capacity to multitask and delegate. So, a friend of mine asked me to help him out with his campaign. He didn't have enough time to find a uh, campaign manager that was willing to take less than adequate pay. So he said he would pay me a nominal sum if I could help him out. He said, you know, the hours are gonna be really long. It would be like a nine to five job, except you need to volunteer at night too. So that's what I did, and it was really, really hard, and Aaron offered to help me out with it. We basically spent the last 23 days um, door knocking, doing all sorts of office stuff, calling people um, for the NDP, which I really know nothing about. Um, but I believe in Christopher McMillan. I believe that he's passionate, and I know that if I was passionate about something, I would need people to believe in me too, to help me out, right? To stay organized, to be efficient at whatever your purpose is. So it's been um, a really, really fascinating experience. I live in a house with a lot of a lot of people, a lot of different personalities, and I think that it's it's significant and it should be talked about because I almost feel like for people my age there's a stigma around elections. You know, even myself, I was so I am so um, disenfranchised with the political process. I think it's bullshit. You know, like. But the, the thing is, if we're not out there supporting people that, that are awesome, actual people that are, are competent, capable, and, and share our values, that share our ideals, we get basically these either people with money to back them up because they don't need a, a supportive um, a volunteer base, or you get these like really egotistical people that aren't necessarily doing it from the, from the right place. They're not doing it because they're passionate about it. They're doing it because they have to. So, okay, I have some questions for Aaron, because Aaron is a self-described working class anarchist, and somehow I was able to get him to come door knocking with me for the NDP. So I was wondering, why did you do that, Aaron? Um, well, first of all, you're my friend. And um, secondly, um, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, um, the second reason I did it is because I believe that there's an opportunity to build networks and allies in multitude, uh, multiple places, uh, aspects of society and subcultures, and also.